All right, we're here at the Bedlam tailgate, and uh, I'm also here with uh, my chauffeur to the Texas game. Mr. Three Jimmy. or four seconds with no vision going at 75 miles an hour was a little bit scary, but nothing compared to what happened to Betty and Jack. And we're here with Miss Betty wearing the neck brace. Look at that thing. All right, tell us what happened on the accident. Well, we were in the Porsche. We were driving down the interstate, I-35, around the Arbuckle area. In a split second, we hydroplaned. Our car was sideways going down the road. We ran into the ditch, did a 360 or two or three, I don't know how many, but the back end of our car, our Porsche, smashed into this tall rock wall. And then did it move? Uh, the rock wall did not move. It stopped our car immediately. <laughs> and then the car bounced around and hit me on my side. What's the car look like? Uh, totaled. Smashed. So Jack's side of the car looks perfect. So and who was driving? Uh, Jack. That would be Jack. Okay, now, did they life light you out? They wanted to, but it was raining, so I had to take an hour and a half. I think it was an hour and a half ride, uh, ambulance ride to oh, the hospital. Oh, that's miserable. From Ardmore Hospital to the uh, Oklahoma City Hospital. Okay, they got the hospital. Oh, Christy told me they cut your jeans off. They cut everything off. They got a little scissor happy, I might add. <laughs> that's always fun. You're feeling frisky the next day. <laughs> I was not happy. But were you wearing, I mean, I'm sure you're wearing bling bling. I was wearing bling bling, yes. What were you wearing? I was wearing a blingy Victoria's Secret little sweatpants and hoodie, a true religion top, which, you know, it's a dust rag now. Um, so. so now you're in a hospital. What did they do that first night? Uh, it was three hours of CAT, stand, CAT scans and MRIs. Um, and the most horrible night of my life. And you, you lost feeling for a while. It, it was it was mainly tingling. It was a little bit of numbness and a lot of tingling, but I have all of my sensation back now. Okay. And then you had the operation. What did they do? Uh, they went in through here. Oh, gosh, look at that. Can you see that? There's a big scar on her neck. They fuse C5, C6, and C7 together. So they go through the front of your neck? Yes. To get to the back of the neck? Yes. And when you say C5, C6, that's real good. Because if it's like one or two or three, that's bad. Right. And it, the, the C5, that's the lower ones? Uh-huh. Okay. And so you're going to be, now you're all okay. What they do? They just seized it together. They fused it together. I have a metal plate with three screws. Okay. And uh, you're going to get out of this contraption when? Uh, they told me I would be in it four to six weeks total. All right. And so you'll be back 100%? Um, yep, he told me, the doctor told me 100% recovery. Will you be able to predict the weather? Probably not the weather, but I will still be able to clean teeth. Okay, now you're going to have to do those full body scans when you go through the airport? or I'm sure I'm going to set off alarms, that's what they tell me. Shot anybody famous? Watch out! Oh. Right. Anybody, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> anybody famous? Uh, I can't remember who now, but I've had a few. I've had a couple of the Thunder players. Have you really? Yeah. Did they fit? Yeah, long legs. <laughs> and were their knees in your back? No, not that bad. Was it Kevin Durant? I haven't done it yet. Okay. <laughs>